Hey YouTube, uh, this is Rojimbo, and um, I'm doing a little unboxing for my first video here. Um, as you can see, I've got some Emerson swag around the side, and uh, I got halfway into opening this uh, before I realized I should really do this on camera. And uh, show you what it is that I've received today. It's a pretty special knife, um, and uh, I think you guys are going to be excited. So this was just released uh, something like two weeks ago, um, and uh, I completely missed the sale uh, when it first uh, hit Emerson's website, um, but I managed to find one on Blade Forums for a pretty good price. And so yeah, we've got the Commander, um, serial number 18. So. Uh, the Commander XHD, I might add. Um, I've been excited about getting one of these XHDs, uh, but none of them really sparked my interest the way the Commander did. Um, I really am a huge fan of the Commander blade shape. And, uh, wow, yeah. I knew that when I saw this thing, that of any of the XHDs, this commander would be the one that I'd be most interested in. Wow, centering is perfect. Let me see if you can see this properly in the camera. God, that backspacer is beefy. <laughs> As you can see here. Serial number 18, um, S35VN, um, this is a three and three quarter inch blade, um, Emerson's website says this is, uh, let's see, I got a sheet here, 0.125 inch thick uh, slab here, so that's a, a pretty hefty blade stock. And um, this is the first uh, commander with a flipper. So that was one of the other things that I was really excited about is that um, both the, uh, the previous, um, well not, there's been three previous XHDs. There's been the, uh, the Humvee, there was the um, Karambit, and there was the uh, CQC-7. Um, the Humvee was not a flipper. The Humvee is kind of a a reproduction of an old custom knife um, that Ernie was making. And then the uh, Karambit and the uh, CQC-7 both have uh, flipper models already. So this uh, Commander, there has not been a flipper model of yet. And I know you guys are probably wondering why I don't just flip this thing open, um, because, you know, that's the big reveal. But let me just, uh, I feel like it's going to be amazing. Um, I want to test a few other flippers first. So this is the Sheepdog. This is the uh, only other um, Emerson that I have that's on bearings. And it flips incredibly well. Um, very, very glassy, drops shut. Um, but I've heard that this, these XHD flippers are just like... Some of the best flippers out there. So we'll see whether it lives up to the height. Um, the other um, flippers that I have, I've got a zero tolerance. That thing flips pretty nicely, very authoritative. And then of course I've got the uh, the old hinderer, which mine flips quite nicely. It doesn't need any kind of wrist. So now let's let's pull the trigger on this bad boy and see if it's uh, markedly better. Wow, yeah, that <laughs> that detent is, um, it takes quite a bit of force. And then when it goes, it's just, there's so much weight behind that blade that it actually has a pretty palpable, um, pretty palpable uh, recoil to it. But oh my gosh, that blade is so sick. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. I wish I had an actual, uh, just a st standard production uh, 
Ooh, that's so nice. <laughs> Standard production commander to compare it to to show you the difference. Um, this is fairly close. This is uh, the Black Shamrock um, exclusive knife. And so that's got a somewhat kind of commander-esque blade. It's got the recurve, but um, it's definitely different than this. Wow. That is such a crazy action. But as you can see, quite a bit beefier than your normal production, which is already quite beefy. Um, it looks like the Black Shamrock's a slightly, slightly longer blade. But it seems more narrow compared to this. This Black Shamrock knife is honestly an awesome knife as well. Um, also very, very smooth. I'll do an additional video on that at some point here. But wow, so nice. So I'll give you some stats here. Like I said, um, it's a three and three quarter inch um, S35VN blade that is uh, 0.125 thick. And then, uh, nope, not 0 0.125, uh, 0 0.56, 0 0.156, rather. Um, uh, Rockwell hardis, hardness of 57 to 59. Um, apparently these liners are uh, 0 0.09 thick titanium and then the backspacer um, let's let's mic it real quick because um, I got two different numbers on the website um, one said it was made from a 0 0.2 inch thick piece of titanium and then uh, I also saw somewhere else 0 0.125 so let's see here Yeah, point, point 0.2. So that is a thick piece of titanium. Um, then we've got a, we've got hex uh, titanium screws. Pretty generous uh, lanyard hole there with the, uh, I would imagine, titanium um, insert there. Um, the G10 is, uh, that is what is point 0.125. So 125, uh, G10 there, and then it's got this like waffle kind of texture. Um, I mean, all of Emerson's stuff is grippy, but this is incredibly grippy. Um, yeah, I guess it's uh, closer to some of the new stuff, as you can see. Got a couple other new Emersons here as well. Also, Commander Blade. I guess while I'm opening up commanders, let's uh, let's put the commander family out as it stands so far. Pretty funny. I've got three very kind of off-brand commanders, uh, and I don't actually have a a standard commander to compare it to. But um, I think that's that's coming soon. This guy I'll have to do a little review for you on soon as well. Serial number 23. Lucky number for me. Anyways, um, let's see, what other, what other stats can I give you on this thing? The handles, um, 4.65 inches, uh, overall length is 8.75, and the weight is uh, seven and a half ounces so it's a hefty knife but I again it's extremely well balanced and um, I mean it feels great the extra width is just incredible yeah this is this is a really nice knife <laughs> so yeah anyways um, just thought you guys might enjoy seeing that and uh, more things from me to come. Um, like I said, I'm going to share with you some of these other um, interesting knives that I've got. I've got um, two other blade variants. Uh, well, I guess three if you include like 
standard uh, standard karambit, but I've got the other two, um, Bullnose and um, CQC7, so I'll make a little video on that showing you these other uh, karambit models, and uh, yeah, fun stuff to come. Oh, and I also do a little, uh, little customization, so this guy's wearing my custom scales that I made, and um, yeah, I'll show you guys more things to come, but thanks for tuning in and checking out the Commander. That is such a sick knife.